Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, questions I've had a few times um, was we are starting to talk about 23H2, which is coming to Windows 11, is how it's going to come to people that are unsupported hardware. And will it work with unsupported hardware? Honestly, I think Windows 11 will always work with unsupported hardware, whatever version comes next. So uh, 23H2, 24H2, as long as Windows 11 will exist, I'm pretty sure unsupported hardware will be able to continue on. And and that's, by the way, one way that some of you might want to continue on with the same PC as Windows 10 end of support uh, will happen in uh, the year 2025. Now, um, the question about unsupported hardware, and this is where it gets a little more complicated, is, of course, will I be able to move on to the next version? How is that going to happen? So, as you see here, I've got an A23H2 um, Insider build. Now, on a supported PC, what is going to happen is simple, is you're going to go and check out your, set, your, your settings app and your Windows Update, and you'll see that in a Windows Update, they're going to offer you 23H2 for a while. It will be an optional update that you can get, and that will be okay. But on the unsupported hardware, what we seem to see is that the next version are not offered. So on unsupported, what's going to happen is that you might have to manually upgrade it to 23H2. So you might have to you reinstall Windows 11 with 23H2 included, or there might be a way to force 23H2 with the update itself. Um, I don't know exactly up to what point that is possible, but there's a good chance that unsupported hardware, you might not be offered 23H2. So what's gonna happen is you can either just continue with 22H2 until it really gets end of support, which will be by the end of 2024, you still got more than a year. So you can keep 22H2 and you know just continue surfing there. But there's a good chance that you'll have to install Windows with all the tricks to install unsupported with a image that will bring you to 23H2. Because we know that when 23H2 gets ava is available in the fall, the uh, images for Windows 11 that you can download from the Microsoft website will all be updated with 23H2 in it. Uh, so that's going to be uh, that's going to be the thing. For other questions on 23H2, for those that are on 21H2, you're not offered 22H2. A couple of you have asked me, well, can I be offered 23H2 and just jump over 22H2? I do not believe that is possible. I think that what's going to happen is if you have 21H2, if at some point you have to force upgrade to 22H2 because it's not offered, you'll have to go through that version before 23H2. I don't think you'll be able to jump over 22H2 um, in the way that it's done. Uh, so that might be the case that you'll have to have 22H2 before even thinking of getting 23H2. Unless, like I said, you use the image, clean install a Windows 11 23H2 with that image, which already has every update. So uh, that's pretty much what I have on questions that you guys are asking for 23H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.